little bark. Uh, just uh, just chased a the hyena. There's another hyena that's arrived. So this is going to get quite interesting. Let's see. Oh, and you'll hear the. Uh, there we go. There we go. That works perfectly. Thanks, Craig. Craig's just switched on to infrared. It's a little bit better. Uh, that hyena's got part of the carcass. There we go. Look, another hyena. So now there are three hyena. Now the wild dogs have to be careful. These three hyena are very big, very powerful. But you see the dogs still challenging them, trying to drive them off. Watch, you see, nipping the back of the hyena. And biting them. Oh, what amazing interaction. There we go, here we go. Have a look at that. Oh, and the other's growls by that hyena. Now, I've seen hyena fighting before. They're incredibly tough animals, ferocious animals when they feel threatened. You might lose a view of them and going behind the car. Hold on, I'm just going to move for us a little bit. Okay, Craig. Oh, there's so much going on here at the moment. Um, I can hear the hyena calling in the distance. Oh, the hyena get very vocal, especially if there are other predators around. This has been amazing. I've really enjoyed this. I hope you all have too. It's fantastic that we can still see them so clearly with the infrared on. Now, as I said, we're probably going to leave, leave them now. It's getting dark. I don't want to spend too much time with them in the dark. Um, just from a sensitivity point of view, we've had an incredible afternoon with the wild dogs and it was worth waiting and spending time with them we did get to see a lot of action a lot of interaction and of course a hunt all right now my friend james is still out in the mara let's head across to him and i'm going to leave these wild dogs <laughs> 